Hello everyone, I am Kaden Alexander and <laughs> that was Yossi and I have an unboxing to do. So we got our May box in. Uh, the only slight issue, say hi to Yossi, the only slight yeah issue is there is a huge dent in the box. <laughs> Uh, even though it was bubble wrapped, um, somehow managed to get it. Um, Yossi is going to help me unbox because she is very clingy right now. So, look at this beautiful postcard. Looks like an ukiyo-e, almost. Cool. Alright has a little blurb about Children's Day which is a Japanese holiday beautiful postcard that's written by the creator of the box then the guidebook as per usual and it's cool because it has a Highlight of one of the companies, this one being Los Marin. And then a little thing about the tableware that we get. And then all of the products. Um, including how to make the tea. Uh, the cool thing about this one is it says how much water to use and how long to leave the tea in the bag, how long to steep it. Uh, then Kanagawa Prefecture is the spotlight for this one. And yeah, it's really, really neat. And then has another little article about Children's Day. So that's cool. Let us see what all we have. Now, I am going to cheat. I'm going to have to look at the guide while I look through this. So, first we have the umemochi. That looks really cute. Oh, they're so soft. The full bag of those. We got, ooh, the bowl. That's really pretty. You could only... I'd say you could probably... Maybe use this as a rice bowl as well. Definitely sturdy enough. But that's really pretty. Uh, nukumori. Cool. Then this is... Is that also ume? Ichijiku? Am I reading that right? So I'm looking it up. I apologize. I can't find it. <laughs> I really can't find it, y'all. That might be... Oh, okay, that's the dorayaki. Okay. So this is the fig dorayaki. We have the little blowfish cracker. That's actually much bigger than I thought it'd be. Cute. We have, this is a kind of mochi, I think. I really wish I could read kanji. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is... Mochi. Here's the Sakura Sencha tea. Look at that packaging. That's so pretty. Definitely want to save that packaging. And then the a cookie. The sable cookie. Saboru. Uh, we have a Baum Kuchen. That one's much smaller than the Strawberry Milk Baum Kuchen, but it's very pretty. Uh, two Monaka. Oh, 
So unfortunately, the Monaka did get a little bit crushed. Um, only one did, but not terrible. At least I'm just happy the blowfish is in one piece. Uh, this is the Warabi Mochi, I believe. That's pretty. Another Monaka? Uh, that, I believe that's another. This is much softer than the other Monaka. I don't know if it, because it was in the heat or not, but those are very pretty. Ooh, what's this thing? I love Japanese packaging, how pretty that is. So if you open that, okay, that's pretty. I believe it has the inlay products. That is, so the cubes that I showed, I think, were the Kanten Sakura Mochi. Um, that, this is the Hime Sakura Kuzu Mochi. And it has bean powder in there. Then, Kinako. Ah! So this is like a Kinako Mochi cracker, I think. These are the cream sandwich. Oh no! The Sakura cream sandwich, which unfortunately, one of them did not, both of them did not survive. Um, that's a shame. And then we have another Kinako mochi cracker. Oh, it's green. Cool. So we have a nice array of snacks this time. Unfortunately, most did get slightly crushed um, thanks to my darling delivery drivers. But the main thing that I wanted to be intact is intact. And I can't wait to try this stuff. I'm definitely going to read the guidebook before just to see what it recommends. I know the blowfish is recommended to be put in the tea, which will be really interesting. And yeah. So that's the box. <laughs> I'm sorry, this one was really unprepared considering I literally just opened the box as opposed to the last time where I ended up having to record the video like four times and knew what everything was. Um, but it's very pretty and despite the little setback, all as well. Yossi, do you have any parting words to tell our viewers? No? She's camera shy. All right, well, I can't wait to try any of this stuff, and yeah, have a good one.